welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chief. I was kind of scared on how that first episode went, but it seems like you guys liked it, so I'm going to keep it up. This one is kind of a little bit tricky compared to the last one. It's a little bit more in-depth when coming to all of the foods and all that stuff. But I promise you, it won't be that hard. It's just there's a lot of different types of food besides that. It's not really that hard. It's not a challenging uh, meal. But uh, I'm going to be making the stir fry. I'm so excited. Oh, I love stir fry. I'm sorry. I love it so much. It's amazing. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start off with this side and I'm going to go to there. So first of all, we have a fourth a cup of bean sprouts. This will just give it that little bit of crunch that you need that just adds flavor and texture to that stir fry. Then I have two eggs that we're going to add in the fried rice. I have jasmine rice. You're only going to need about a cup of this. Then I have some soy sauce. This we're going to add to taste. So however much you like. I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to soy sauce, so I eat a lot of it. But it's honestly up to you how much you want to do um, and add to it. Then we have salt. You're probably not going to need this because soy sauce adds a lot of sodium and that nice salt flavor. But just in case, I would like to have some salt on the side in case you need it. Then I have some sugar snap peas. We use about probably a third a cup of this. I just go by handful, but about a third a cup. And then I have one green onion. Then I have about a tablespoon of parsley. I'll just on the side of this. I have one large carrot, and I'll be showing you how to prepare both of these. And then we have about eight ounces of steak. I love steak. I was thinking about making chicken, chicken stir fry, but I was like, no, I'm going beef. Then I have a half a head of broccoli. I would say it's about a full cup of broccoli if you're going by cups. Then I have four tablespoons of butter. Then I have some cabbage. I sliced it long ways so it adds more of like a noodle type texture to it and we're also going to be slicing this long ways so it gives that texture to it we're going to be using one beef bouillon we have minced onion we'll probably be using about a teaspoon of this and then i just obviously have some black pepper just add to taste however you like it but besides that that's all you need it seems like a lot compared to last time but I feel like you guys can handle it as long as you just follow with what I have. I think you should be fine. But first of all, I'm going to start with cutting these. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the um, white part and the green part separately. I'm also going to go peel this really quick so I can get that skin off. So let me go do that really quick and I'll see you guys over at the cutting board. So you can see that I peeled that. I'm just going to cut the very top of this off because we're not going to need that. What we're going to do is slice this long ways so it gives that nice noodle-like feel to it. You probably won't use the whole carrot just because you don't really need it. Unless if you really like carrot, you can go for it and use the entire thing. After you rinse it, you take this, cut the top part off, Put that up at the top because we're going to use this in the rice and this in the stir fry. So we're going to do that and slice it very finely. I'm, I'm going to try to do it from this angle to see if you guys can see it better. And don't cut yourself, please. I feel absolutely terrible about that. And adding this to the rice will give the rice just a perfect, delicious flavor to it versus just normal rice. This, we're just going to do the same thing. That'll probably be plenty. And again, it just depends how strong you want your flavor. So we're going to take this and we're going to move it off to the side that like a ninja by the way. So I'm just going to put it right here. We're going to make sure that the rice is cooking because that's going to take the longest. 
So we're gonna put that on the back burner. We're gonna put that to about medium. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go fill this with a cup and a half of water. Now it's very, very important you don't put anything more or less in this. If you put more water, it'll get mushy and it'll taste gross, but if you put too little, it'll be crunchy. So it's very important that you have the amount you need. Because right here it says for one cup of this, it's one and a half cups of water. So just read the directions on the rice that you have very carefully. All right, so we'll put that on the back burner. I'm gonna cut this open. Ooh, it's spilling all over the place. Such a mess. Okay. I'm gonna do this over it so it doesn't make more of a mess than I need to. And don't mind me, there's just rice everywhere. And this will happen. So once that is in, I'm gonna just stir it just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Now that pretty much will cook for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna bring that up to a high till it starts boiling. It's almost there, just a little bit more. And then I'll turn that down to a simmer and allow it to just soak up all of that moisture. And we'll let that sit for about 15 minutes, okay? I'm gonna move this pot over here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be cooking the steak. I still have rice bits everywhere that I spill. Oh I'm gonna go get the meat and I'm gonna go chop it up really quick. I'm gonna transfer all of this parsley over to my little cutting board off to the side and I'm going to cut this really quick. Now that's to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to simmer and let it sit there while I cut the rest of this. All right, so I'm gonna turn this on high just so it heats up for a bit. All right, now I'm grabbing the butter to go cook the meat in. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna grab one beef bouillon cube, if I can get it out, and the pepper. And then we're gonna grab the soy sauce. I am going to wait to add the salt just until it's all done, just in case, because you don't want anything too salty. It's easier to add salt than take it away. So let's just go add this. All right, I'm gonna take one butter and just put it on there. And I'm gonna add this to it. And just kind of stir it around just a little bit. Add a little bit of pepper, just a few sprinkles over it. <coughs> Stir it around. The butter is just going to add a really nice flavor and softness to the meat since we're not pressure cooking it. If you want to pressure cook it, go straight away and do that. I just wanted to show you guys that you can cook it too. Now I'm going to be adding this beef bouillon to it. This is going to make almost like a sauce and make it really nice and tender. And give it that great, great flavor. Now I'm going to go get a fourth a cup of water and add it in here. Because the rice will be somewhat bland, adding this to it will make a nice sauce that you can just mix in straight with the rice, giving it that nice beefy flavor. Now while that cooks, you can come over here, open this sugar snap piece, and just grab a nice little handful of them. 
about that much. And I'm gonna grab this, these, and this because I'm gonna go make vegetables. So we're gonna turn this front burner onto medium. We're gonna add the sugar snap peas first along with the broccoli. So I'm gonna cut this really quick. The reason why you wanna add the sugar snap peas and the broccoli first is because they're bigger chunks and they take longer to cook. And it's harder to digest those two things. So you wanna make sure those things are decently cooked more than the others. All right, you're gonna move that off to the side. Turn that off. And we're gonna let this cook a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. We're gonna go add a fourth a cup of water so it steams the vegetables inside this. All right. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is put the lid on that and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes. Five minutes probably should be fine. We're gonna come over here and check how the rice is doing. Seems like it's almost done. Just a little bit more. Now while that's cooking, you can transfer your beef over to a side plate and start washing your dishes. It seems like it's doing just fine. We're gonna continue to let that cook for a little bit longer. Now take the lid off of this and try a little bit, make sure it's not crunchy. All right, it's almost done. All we need to do is just continue to stir it to let off some of that moisture so it tastes really nice and not soggy. Also, halfway through it cooking, add just a little bit of soy sauce and stir. So it adds that nice flavor to it. I just washed this out so I can use it for the fried rice. You're gonna need a larger pan to be able to maneuver all that rice around or it'll spill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer it over to this other burner. There we go. Put that off to the side for now. Turn this on to a low to medium heat, halfway in between. You're gonna wanna take two tablespoons of butter and just work it into it. Put it to the bottom so it melts and once it starts melting, just move the rice on top of it so it really soaks up that butter. Also put a little bit of soy sauce. I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and come back over here and see how that's doing. Look, looks like it's cooking very well. Do you want to see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that into it, the carrots. I'm gonna add the bean sprouts. I'm gonna add the cabbage as well. Also, I need to remember to take the green onions, the white part, and put it into the rice. And then you're gonna take a pinch of the green onion, the green part, and put it into that. And I'm gonna go add another fourth cup of water into this. Now that that's going, I'm gonna stir all of this into each other. And we will almost be done at this point. So you come into the home stretch. And what you're gonna do with this is we're gonna be cooking the eggs on that in a second. So turn that back burner on to medium. Off to the side that was in the sink. 
make sure to use salt and pepper on the eggs to give them some flavor. All right, now that those eggs are done, we're just gonna dump it straight in to the rice. We're gonna stir this all in. And it pretty much is all done. So after you get this stirred in, you can just let it sit on the side and just kind of simmer. So I can just sit right there, make sure to scoop all of that stuff off the spoon. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the remaining butter, which is a tablespoon, and we're gonna slide it straight into there. I'm going to kind of maneuver that around and also stir it so it really mixes with that butter. You're going to turn this off. And then move it to the side. All you got to do is take this and merge it with the rest of the ingredients. Now if this gets a little too cold because it took a little too long to cook the rice or the um, veggies, all you gotta do is just pop in the microwave for like 10 seconds and leave it in there until you're ready to combine it with the rest of the stuff. Last thing you're gonna do is add a little bit of minced onion into that to add a little bit of flavor. I'm putting about a teaspoon in. All right, now that you have all of the ingredients, you can start adding in the rice first. Oh gosh, it smells so good, especially with those green onions in there. All right, you can just put it off to the side. And this can feed one to two people. One person being like, they're really, really hungry. So don't make too much if you're just making for yourself. Unless if you want to save some for later. You're going to take the remainder of the beef. Actually, all of the beef, not the remainder. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't mind me, and just divide it up between your two plates, or if one, it is all yours. You don't have to share it at all. Put that on there, and for a little bit of garnish, you can just take the parsley and put it on top. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. It's all done, that's how it looks, and now you can just add soy sauce to taste on how salty and soy saucy you want it. Now that it's all done, you can just sit down and enjoy it. And if you don't eat all of it, don't worry. This is very fridge friendly. So it works out perfectly. It's delicious and you can't go wrong. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Cooking with Chief. Hope you enjoyed it. So I forgot to tell you guys how much time it takes to really make this. So the jasmine rice only took about 10 minutes to cook. So don't worry about that. Um, and then it only took about five minutes to stir and add all that stuff to it. The uh, nice little veggies took about 10 minutes in total and then the steak took about five minutes. And I was cooking all that while I was cooking the jasmine rice. So all together it was taking about like 15 minutes and then it's about five minutes of prep time. So it literally only takes 20 minutes to make this delicious food and Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so good, guys. I forgot to try it before, but oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> you guys should make it. Just try it. You won't